Yes, must be related. Right, right, you can choose your friends, but you can't choose your relations, can you really? Um, relation, good. excellent. We have a couple, Oriental for eight, and Ordinate for eight. Hmm. Okay. But relation is terrific. Yeah, we like, we like a relation. Ordinate is there for right. the eight. Good, so 58 and eight is 66, and 43. Tracy, letters. Constant place, N. And another one, G. Another consonant, D. And another, S. Vowel, please. U. Another vowel, E. Another vowel, A. Consonant, L. And a final vowel, please. And a vowel. Thanks, Tracy. That's an I. Thank you. We're counting down. Yes, Tracy. Eight. An eight. Okay. Jeremy. Eight. Ah. Great. Um, Jeremy's eight. Dealings. Dealings. Tracy. Lordings. Lordings. Now the verb to lord here and the noun lord is here, but lording, as a verb as a noun, sorry, isn't. So I can't allow no. lordings. No. Okay. Sorry, Trace. Um, Don. No, we couldn't do better than dealings. We could, so. we could match it um, with signalled, spelled yes. with one L in the American way, but we couldn't beat it. No, OK. All right, on we go then to Jeremy's letters. Consonant, please, Carol. G. And a second one? S. And a third? H. A vowel, please? O. A second vowel? E. And a third vowel? A. A consonant? T. Another consonant? M. And finish with a consonant. Thank you, Jeremy. That's D. Thank you. Starting the clock. Jeremy? Seven. And Tracy? Seven. Right, Tracy, seven. Hostage. Good. Jeremy? I've got hostage as well. Yes, fine. That's lovely. Very good. And so have we. That's exactly what we've got too. Yeah. Hostage. Yep. That's it. Okay. Okay, 81 and 60. Letters are done. Numbers from Tracy. One from the top. Five small ones, please. Which shall I take? I'll take that one, I think. And five smallies. The numbers then are eight, six and seven, five, four and seventy-five. And a target for you both of six hundred and eighty-six. Six, eight, six required, chaps. Here we go. Okay, 686, six, Tracy. 683. Six, three away, Jeremy. Sorry, I've blown it. Right, 683, six, Tracy. 75. Yep. Times 4 plus 5 is 675. Okay, so times 9, yep. Yeah. Is 675. And add the 8. And add on the 8 is 683. Six, yeah. 
good. Yeah, That's no, useful seven. seven points for you, Tracy. Yeah. Now, six, uh, eight, six required. Could have got one closer. Seven minus six is one and added that up. Uh, however, 75 plus five is 80, plus seven obviously is 87. Multiply that by eight, you have uh, 696. Take away the six and take away the four. And that's 686. Good. OK, well, now that's the last numbers game of the week. This is now the last conundrum of the week. So if everyone's ready for this, um, you want to put your finger or hold your pen. I mean, I don't know how you want to do it, but Tracy, you can do whatever you're most comfortable. OK, please now reveal today's countdown conundrum. And that's the buzz of two seconds to say. Plausible. Well, that's terrific, actually, because it is, yes. Oh. <laughs> well, that's really very good. I mean, I, you know, it's, it's sort of gettable, but gettable in two seconds. I mean, I don't know if anyone in the audience got it in two seconds. No one did, because uh, it's, it's an excellent one. That, and I'm so sorry, because you've just lost by, what, four points? Oh, dear. <laughs> So oh, they're all saying, oh, Tracy, 77, very good. But there he is, and he's, he's good, isn't he? 81 points to Jeremy Slaney. Well done, Jeremy. <laughs> well, we say bad luck to you, uh, Tracy. You were a long way behind at one point. I'm just looking here, it was 40 and 15 at the end of the first half. So what a game you've had catching up. So I anyway, hope you've enjoyed it. Have you? Have very much, thank you. OK, we're a great sport and uh, we send you away with lots of love and our goodie bag, our copious goodie bag. So we say farewell to Tracy Mills. <laughs> well, it's Friday. It's sort of clear out day today, clearing out a few bits and pieces here. We're clearing out Dictionary Corner en masse. But Don, Yes. I have to say, you're always a pleasure. It's great, very interesting uh, bits you offer and all, it's a great personality. Now, look, by sheer, you don't know this stuff, but by sheer coincidence in the audience tonight, remember the audiences queue up for two years to get here, right. and we have in the audience, unbeknown to me until we came in, but they're all wearing their blue shirts, and they're members of the Sing Live UK organisation. There's 270 of them from all over the country. There's just about, what, 20 here today. And, uh, well, we've got the huge admirers of yours because they love music and musicals, don't you, girls and boys? Yeah. Yes. Right. That's right. And you're thrilled to see Don Black here, one of yeah. our great practitioners. Yeah. So a special tribute to you, Don. No. Uh, what are we going to do? They've said, <laughs> if you just throw one of your songs at them, the title, they will, they will try and sing it. OK, off pat. OK, you ready for that? <coughs> OK. So, I think what they need, though, is a title okay. and then a note. OK, is that OK? Well, I know. Don't worry about the note. I only wrote the words. <laughs> But uh, the title will be Born Free. OK? Born free, as free as the wind blows, as free as the grass grows, born free to follow your heart. Absolutely lovely. Ah, Thank you so much. <laughs> That's <you>. enough. <laughs> He's got enough. He's got enough brass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Don, well, that's terrific. You could have done Diamonds Are Forever. No, you could have done it. But thank you. It was it was terrific and okay. uh, a great tribute. Very that's nice. Good. Thank you very much. Okay, well, that's good, man. Let's say we say goodbye to a good chap, Don Black. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, oh, scissors is off too. So we're we'll replacing them with two nice young ladies. We have Susie Dent, everyone's favourite. And a lady called Catherine Apanovich, who is back, <laughs> not by popular demand, I think she's back. <laughs> no, she's back because she lives nearby and uh, it's cheap, it's cheap, it's cheap, it's a cheap taxi. It's a cheap taxi, <laughs> no hotel bills. So we'll see you there on Monday. Carol, you two on good form, I hope, and see you. Have a great weekend. See you on Monday. Bye bye. <laughs>like your puppies and kittens and just about every other furry animal don't forget pet rescues back monday at 3 15 on 4 live at 5 richard and judy are asking why the british iq is rising faster than any other country in the world and there's an exclusive with coronation street star tracy shaw and her hubby